Yeah, uh, I want to talk a little bit about communication. Uh, more uh, for me, it's more about communication uh, inside my company. Uh, yeah, my name is Walter Eck. Uh, my, my, my company's name is Olin Data. Uh, can I please go to the toilet? It refers to a question that one of my freelancers uh, asked me uh, a couple months ago in his first week. And since we all, uh, all my freelancers work remotely, I simply don't really care if you're going to the toilet <laughs> as long as you don't stay away for an hour or whatever in the middle of the conversation. Um, what I'm going to be talking about, I'll tell you what my company does so you know what the background is for the, for the talk. Um, we work with remote uh, freelancers and we try to do uh, asynchronous uh, work, which means that people work from different countries, different time zones, and we try to never have the work stall on a specific person. And that requires some uh, specific uh, business processes to have them in place. And the last uh, item I want to talk about is uh, some of the company culture, the, the, the values that we have and the, the ways that, that I uh, run my company to make sure that uh, we come across in the, in the right way. Um, yeah, my company is All in Data. I started it uh, four years ago. Um, we do a, a couple of different things. Uh, I started out uh, doing by myself uh, my school consulting. I, uh, I was traveling and uh, I started traveling in 2007. I left my uh, my office job in Holland. I uh, sold everything I had. No, I gave it away, gave it away actually. And uh, I traveled for a year. Then I ran out of money. And then I thought, hmm, I don't want to stop traveling. So uh, there needs to be money on the table. So I decided to start Olin Data to do my school consulting. Um, and from the beginning, it was set up to be run remotely and uh, completely location independently because I didn't want to be tied to a single uh, location. Uh, that meant that you know we have a, a few specific uh, things. Uh, after doing MySQL consulting for about two years, I uh, noticed that a lot of the companies that I was doing the consulting for did not have proper monitoring systems in place. Uh, neither monitoring or alerting. And uh, yeah, to me that is something that is the most important. If you run a, a company and you have a bunch of servers and you need to make sure that these servers are always running, you don't want to have your customer call you and say, hey, uh, your website is down, well, what's up with that? You want to know before it happens, ideally, and if it happens, you want to be you know, notified in all uh, possible ways. So I set up Trevilli. Uh That's been running for about a year and a half now, and it's, uh, it's going okay. Um, and the latest project is a uh, puppet uh, training and consulting. We're just getting started. Uh, there will probably be more uh, about that later. Um, but yeah, so these are the three projects uh, that I uh, run simultaneously. Uh, we work with about two to two between two and ten freelancers at any given time. Um, it would be nice if the turnover wasn't so high, but because I'm a self-funded startup, it means that I cannot uh, offer anyone a full-time job which means that people are free to come and leave when, uh, whenever, they, uh, whenever they want, and so they do. Uh, I had, just last month, a web developer quit on me from one day to the next, and it's very uh, sad when that happens, because I don't, I don't appreciate it when somebody tells me from, from today on tomorrow, hey, oh, by the way, I uh, cannot uh, devote any more time, so, you know, uh, screw you, I'm going away. And, you know, that's <laughs> not nice. It's not, I treat them with respect, and they're, uh, uh, expect the same thing in return. But, as you'll see, we have uh, stuff in place to make sure that that is not the end of the world. Um, yeah, so when I look for freelancers, uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of uh, qualities that I look for. It's not so much about the tech uh, qualities. Obviously, it is important that you know your stuff, but, yeah, I've, I've worked with people that, you know, they, they develop their uh, knowledge over time. What I find it, uh, very important is uh, that they are proactive, which means that they don't sit around and wait for me to give commands, but they actually go out and see, okay, this needs to be done, or these issues are open, or I think that this needs to be done, and, you know, speak up. Uh, it's, in Holland, we are very, uh, I'm from Holland, and in Holland we are very blessed, because we have a, a laws in place that protect you as an employee. There's almost, there's only very few ways that you can actually legally get fired. You have to really do... You know, you have to punch your boss in the face to, to, <laughs> to be able to get fired. You cannot, if you have a contract, you cannot be fired for working too slowly. That's how insane it is. Um, but, it, you know, it also, um, 
encourages people to speak up. If you do not agree with what's, what's going on in your job, you're allowed to speak up because you cannot get fired for it. You never have to be afraid for your job, and it's very important in my opinion. And uh, with my freelancers, I work in the same way. I, I encourage them to speak up. If they have something that they're concerned about, or they think that I'm doing it wrong, speak up, because that's the only way that we're going to improve. Uh, I'll never punish anyone for it, and uh, yeah, there's been some very nice uh, things that, you know, I, I'm not the uh, expert on everything I do, because, you know, that's why I hire freelancers to do it. Um, be responsive, communication over availability, which means uh, um, I don't uh, expect someone that I hire for uh, 10 hours a week, or maybe 20 hours a month, to be uh, working for me every minute of, the, of their day. But I do expect them to communicate. I expect them to communicate when they're going to be working, when they're not going to be available. And if I send them an email, I expect an email back you know, within a few hours or within at least within a day, saying, oh, I cannot look into it right now. The next time I'll work for you is, I don't know, next Wednesday, whatever. And I'll look into it uh, then. And that way I know what I'm up against. I know what's happening. And I don't have to wait until next Wednesday when the person opens their email and says, oh, Oh, there's an email from Walter a week a week ago. You know, it's not uh, doesn't uh, allow for me to work continuously. Uh, yeah. So as I said, uh, we work with a bunch of different freelancers. Currently, uh, freelancers in uh, let's see, Holland, Germany, uh, India, here Malaysia, and in um, Philippines and. Uh, because of the span in, uh, in different time zones, we need to make sure that we can always keep uh, keep working. Therefore, we uh, the, the one of the most important things is the use of a knowledge base, which is in our case a product called Redmine. I don't know for you, the tech people here if you don't use it, don't walk away right now. But after I'm finished talking, go and look it up and start using it because it's excellent piece of software. Um, yeah, we use uh, the, the wiki part of it as a knowledge base where all the knowledge of everyone is uh, uh, gathered. So for instance, a web developer that walks away from today to tomorrow, it's, it sucks, but at least all of the information that is needed for the next person to pick it up is there. And he's not walking away with all, my, uh, all the knowledge of my, uh, of my business or with the knowledge of the code that he's written. Um, write down protocols, make it repeatable. Uh, I, uh, for instance, uh, I just uh, got started with a virtual assistant in the Philippines, and uh, he's very smart. And some of the things that we that I ask him to do, they're quite um, advanced stuff, and it's maybe a little bit uh, above his uh, uh, training scale, which is totally fine. I, I don't mind uh, training him uh, or teaching him. Uh, so I ask him when I, whenever we do something, I write, ask him to write down step by step list. It doesn't have to be like a three page uh, thing, but just a bullet point list so that it's repeatable, and the next time he doesn't have to ask me, like, hey, how do I do that? You can just go to the page and do it. Or if he quits and somebody else comes in, they also know how to do it. Uh, make decisions autonomously and communicate. Uh, what I mean by that is that I prefer, um, let's say I ask someone to paint my room red, and I go away for a few days and I come back, I don't want to find an email saying, oh, uh, do you want this color red or do you want that color red? And instead, I want them to make a decision, I take this color red, paint my room, I come back and they say, hey, uh, there was these colors and I chose this one because, uh, I don't know, I thought you would like this, uh, this one the best because you have a shirt in that color, whatever. Uh, so I painted your room in that color red. And by making their decision by themselves and then communicating to me what they, uh, what they actually did, and uh, the work doesn't stop, and it doesn't stop for me, or what, if they need some other freelancer's uh, 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 input, it doesn't, it doesn't stop for them. And uh, if I really don't like that color red, because that shirt, you know, something I never wear, whatever, uh, then I can always roll it back. But in, in practice, it turns out that it happens maybe once in a hundred times, and the other 99 times, none of the work got stalled because, uh, because of a relatively unimportant uh, decision that needed to be taken. And because of the fact that I'm quite particular about the people that I work with, they're all smart people, so I trust them to make the right decision in these cases. So it works out well. Uh, yeah, Redmine also includes an issue tracking system, uh, which uh, allows you to uh, keep track of the, the outstanding issues that need to be done. 
and uh, we use it actively and it's, uh, it's a very good way for uh, people to uh, see what needs to be done, outstanding bugs or whatever. We don't use it only for technical stuff, I also use it for my uh, assistant because uh, it's very easy. I put in 20 different issues in, uh, in a day, the th things that I've been uh, thinking of, I put them all in there. I assign them to, the, to him with different uh, priorities and he can work on them whenever he wants. Uh, uh, and then report back with progress or if he has questions that are actually stalling then uh, that's fine. And you could, you know, it, it allows us to work, uh, to keep the work uh, going without waiting too much. Uh, company culture. As I said, I find it very important to, uh, to have a, a certain way of communicating with inside the company and also with, with clients, but mostly inside the company as well. Um, written communication uh, is preferred over spoken communication. Many of you will raise an eyebrow when I say that, but the reason for it is that written communication can be searched and indexed. I have most of my uh, written communication is uh, uh, either Gmail or Google, uh, Google Chat, and it's all nicely indexed in one place. I can search it, and it's always verifiable. If I have a Skype chat with uh, or a Skype call with someone, two days later or three days later, if nobody wrote a report about that uh, call, I don't know what was said exactly anymore. Let alone in two months or in three months. Let alone somebody who was not in that call. So I prefer emails and chat over uh, um, spoken communication. Another reason is that it, uh, written communication can be done asynchronously, so you can, I can email now and uh, someone else can, in, in Europe can email in uh, six hours from now when I'm uh, sound asleep and tomorrow morning we continue the conversation, so it, there is no need to find a specific point in time that we can both uh, be available online and uh, talk to each other. Um, yeah, for informal things we use chat, and for formal uh, uh, things we use email or the issue tracker. Uh, informal things, I find it very important to keep a personal uh, uh, connection with my freelancers as well, because I find it very important that I have a personal life and they respect that, and I find it also very important that they have a personal life and I respect their lives, you know. I, I remember on uh, Valentine's Day, uh, there was a, a big issue with a, a with the, the server monitoring system, and uh, it needed to be worked out. And um, yeah, I was working with my sysadmin in India, and uh, yeah, he said that his uh, fiance wife was uh, not very happy uh, at some point, and he said, "Oh, yeah, I haven't really planned anything because you know, I don't know, I, I want to do work and this and that." He said, "Dude, you're now off this uh, issue. I'll fix it by myself." You uh, go and uh, take your wife out for lunch or for dinner or whatever, but you know, make her feel happy because it's important. <coughs> because uh, the next night that he's working late, she uh, has to support him, and you know it's very important. I have to, uh, yeah, I find pers personal time and personal relationships are very important for the performance of the uh, people when they are actually doing work. Um, we're a flat hierarchy team. I don't really consider myself the boss, except for when it comes to important uh, discussions or like, uh, sorry, important decisions or uh, strategic uh, movements. But yeah, I feel we all work together. I hire freelancers for a reason. That's because they know something better than I do. I can, you know, uh, I can do my own uh, uh, web development, but it costs 20 times more time, and it would be like 20 times less quality, so <laughs> obviously, you know, I hire you for a reason, so I consider you an equal uh, person. And nobody ever gets blamed for mistakes, uh, but praised for speaking up. Uh, yeah, there, there was a thread in, uh, I think it was in a webcam group uh, yesterday or the day before about, you know, big mistakes that people made. One of my biggest in my career was uh, on a Sunday morning I was working on a... Um, on a piece of software that I needed to, that I was working on, and I thought, oh, I'll just uh, try the deployment script for the to convert the database, and I'll try that on our development database. And I was running the script, and about I don't know, 45 seconds in, my heart skipped a beat. I don't know the the techies here; they will definitely know this feeling. Heart skips a beat, and you're like, oh production. shit, I did <laughs> not do that. But yes, it was a production database, so. <laughs> Immediately hit cancel, and this was a, a very large Oracle database in a, in a company of 140 people where the whole production database was down. Luckily, it was a Sunday morning, 
and it was a retail uh, shop, so the database was not being used that much. But yeah, the first thing I did was call my boss, and I said, I don't know where you are, but you're going to want to find a computer. And uh, we sat down, and we, uh, we worked for six hours to manually revert every uh, um, change that we made. And eventually it was fine and it was done. And uh, yeah, my boss said, okay, and thank you for calling me and not you know, trying to hide it and trying to you know, fix it by yourself and, uh, you know, because he has a lot more knowledge than I do. And you know, now, now that I have my own company, I do the same thing. You, know, you make a mistake, you tell me, it's fine. You know, everybody makes mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. But tell me when you make a mistake because you know, then we can fix it. And not, uh, find out weeks later that somebody made a mistake and tried to solve it by themselves and you know, oh shit, we had some fallout from that and you know, now you're in much bigger uh, problems. Uh, yeah, this also is, includes openness and honesty. It works both ways. I'm very open, I'm very honest. If you have a question, uh, you know, uh, I, I will totally answer it unless it's, you know, what's the pin code to your, uh, to your bank card? <laughs> Maybe I won't tell you, but um, yeah, I find it very important, both to my freelancers as well as to my clients. You know, I, I pay bills as soon as possible. It's not, uh, you know, I'm a self-funded startup, so money is not always, uh, let's say, too much. Um, but I always pay my bills as soon as they come in because I find it very important. You know, it's not um, the freelancer's responsibility that I have enough money to pay the bill for the work that he did. So I pay the bill as soon as possible, and then you know I'll figure it out later. Uh, and I find that the, the same thing works reciprocal because it makes people respect you. It makes people say, "Okay, this guy always pays his bill in time. I like doing business with him. Whatever." Um, the same thing goes for if somebody uh, if somebody else makes a mistake, and I see it, and it's you know it would benefit me by not telling them and you know taking a financial benefit or whatever whatever kind of benefit. I find it very important to notify them and say, hey, I think you made a mistake here, you know, can you please check if this is uh, indeed uh, your mistake or, or my mistake? And then, uh, you know, sometimes it doesn't work out in my advantage, but at least they will respect me and they'll see Walter as an, uh, as an honest guy. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, questions, I guess we'll do the Q&A uh, thing later. So, uh, yeah, if you want to follow me, uh, that's my, this is my Twitter. Uh, Poland Data is my company website. It's uh, soon to be revamped. This is still talking about MySQL consulting. Well, we'll be doing the Puppet consulting, but I'll probably spend the webcam group for that. Trivilli.com is a, a server monitoring uh, service. If you're a good PHP web developer, please get in touch with me <laughs> because I'm dying for one. Because as I just told you, the, well, the last one left overnight. Um, yeah, our Facebook page and our Puppet. Uh, yeah, there will be a Puppet camp. Uh, probably end of March, uh, we're working out the details and uh, it'll be cool for uh, those of you who are sysadmins or have working companies that uh, manage a, more than pretty much more than one server. For Trevilli we have three servers at the moment and all of them are fully uh, run through Puppet so I can definitely recommend it but I'll, uh, I'll promote it later uh, as well when we, uh, when we get there. Awesome. Done? Thank you.